Hey folks, Jessica here. So there's one more Six Dragon Raid solo to do, and that is Vilnas. Wilness. Vilnas. I'm going to still pronounce it like it's German, because I like how it sounds. But uh, yeah, we're doing this semi-live. This is not a stream, but I actually don't quite know what I want to run for this yet. So we'll figure it out. Uh, let's pull up the fight real quick and see what he does. So Six Dragon Raids. So someone mentioned a big difference from this, from the the between the the single player version of this and the raid is this thing. Magma Chamber does plane damage in the single player, but does ninety nine thousand damage on um on the raid version. So in theory, that means there's more ways to get around this one. And I think the way I'm going to beat this is I'm going to mirror image it. Because uh, water, if you have the blue ball, uh, Drang's blue ball, um, gives you mirror Im image to team on charge attack. So I think we'll use that. And then Sochette, I believe, also gives um, level 100 um, five star water Sochette, gives you mirror image as well on charge attack. So that should actually be the hardest part. Yeah, I don't think it does plain damage at all anymore. Um, Hadron Sphere looks like it's multiple hits, so Mirror Image wouldn't work on that. Uh, Heat Ray, Black Crevasse, all this should be Mirror Imageable. So I think that's going to be our strategy. We'll just play semi defense. Do we even need to play semi defensive? Huh. Huh. Well, we're going to rely on a stack class that can run. Um, that can run the blue ball in order to get mirror image. I guess, alternatively, I think um, Galilei's Insight gives um, Unchallenged, but I think that's only to Jita. So let's look at our weapon options real quick. So Galilei's Insight's this thing, and yeah, it gives yeah damage immunity to main character. So that doesn't quite help, because that requires us to use a sub also, uh, an all ally sub, in order to protect ourselves. But this thing, mirror image one hit to the whole team and it refreshes. So I think, yeah, we'll run a staff class. So let me have a low thing see. And then I'll meet you on the other side of the cut and then we'll put a team together. But I think when we talk staff class, we've got two choices, really. We're probably either running uh, Warlock or say, here, let me copy this class out real quick. This video will be a little bit rambly because I'm figuring it out with you as we go. I don't really make a water team. Okay, I did, I did start setting up a water team for this a while back. So yeah, our choices would be um, probably Sage. Uh, I can use Staff. A Monk, I guess, if I want to be a little bit more damaging. Monk would give me access to Dispel. Though I don't know that there's much I would need to Dispel. Um, just give me more skill damage overall because it's Monk. Or, and I think the one I will use is Warlock. Because Warlock would give me Chaser plus a high damage nuke, plus a ability to give myself a lot of charge bar and demand for faded chains. So there's that. I don't really have a way to stack um, through main character uh, attack and defense down like I normally do because I'm not running Lumberjack or Robin Hood because uh, they don't have access to staff. But I can probably get that through my characters. So yeah, I think the plan right now is I'm going to go Warlock. That should be fine. It also allows to do a lot of damage real fast. Could go Necromancer, I guess, but I'm not that brave. Also, I mentioned cheese tea last time. I got another cheese tea today. So this is my dinner. I will sip at it while we do this. But I figured I'd capture the stabbing because it's the best part of these cheese teas and bubble teas in general. Ha. Take that tea. All right. So, yeah, if we go Warlock. um, Let me switch this out. I guess if I want to be really safe. I go Sage, but I lose so much damage by going Sage. What I gain there is like a heal, but I feel like I'm probably bringing water characters who can heal anyway. And that's really the big thing. I mean, Veil would stop Burn and Shorted. But I don't think that's that big a deal. I just bring Clarity. So yeah, where's Warlock? And I'll have to have a Thixie on the grid. 
But yeah, the main hand's gonna be um, this thing. Now, this is the team I had set up. And Lily gives us a damage cut, a clear, a heal, really everything you want for this kind of fight. Um, Makula gets us basically a gravity and a delay. Which I kind of like. It might be a better choice, so I'll have to think about that for a second. And then, um, Sachette, big thing is gets us a heal, um, attack, debuff, and debuff, attack, defense, debuff, uh, down, plus a stackable attack and defense down. So that's how we'll get our attack and defense down stackable. So that takes care of that. She also delays, also lowers special attack damage. I don't know by how much. Um, also allows us to be able to charge more faster. Like, Shashat's perfect for this. Shashat's quite good here. Plus, she heals and revitalizes and gives us an echo. Like, she can also auto-cast this on her charge attack. Plus, she mirror images everybody. I think the thing that might be awkward is both... I have two mirror images, but they're both on charge attack. So getting the lineup might be weird, but I think I can take Resonating Chant on Jita. So I don't want Choke. I want Chaser, which I do have. And if I take Resonating Chant, Resonating Chant will fill up my charge bar, since I have a lot of staff specialty. And I don't think I need regular Mist. But I'm not quite sure what else I would take. I mean, I guess I could really hedge my bets to go Revive. Whoops. Like that. In case something goes really off the rails. I mean, that's fine. And then that's fine. I need to have a look-see at the grid. Summon, I'll do Quillen Quillen. Um, Gabriel is a damage cut. I'm running Kaguya right now for Kaguya gives me charge bar and damage to charge attack. I could also run Makula, Summer Makula, because she gives me Cold Cage plus charge bar. Cold Cage is essentially like a para. Um, the last couple a few I, I forgot how many turns last, but it's essentially a para. Um I don't really want to run Europa. Europa would give me a revive. Uh, Long G would give me more damage from Crest. But I think, yeah, and I think the play here is I run... I run Kaguya. Because she would allow me to charge attack harder, too, in case I really need to hit a damage thing. Plus, getting more charge bar on demand would be helpful. I could run two, like Kaguya and Makula, to give me extra, extra, extra charge bar in case I need, like, rapid access to a mirror image. But uh, that's probably fine. It's probably fine. Because, I mean... This is, like, Gabriel's a damage cut. Like, um, she's a 70% fire damage cut, so... Yeah, I think we'll do this. And then team... What do I have in the back row? Zeta would help us finish things out, meet damage triggers. And then I saw someone suggest cat. Um, cat, apple. I need my cat apple in this case. Uh, mostly just gives us um, a boost of defense. I don't know if you knew that, but... The cat, if you have nothing else to run in the back row, gives everyone a little bit of defense and a little bit of charge bar sometimes. So, you know, you, just, you can always run the kitty. Adorable. Adorable. And the kitty switches element based on main character's element, I believe. So it's always the right, they're always the right element. I could switch the cat out for something that's better in a clutch situation. I'll have a think see on it. I don't have a Halicina. Not Halicina. What is her name? The Dalkarum Evoker for water. Um, Hasselina? Hasselina, is that her name? I, I don't know. I don't have her, so she's not going in the back row. Um, I could run Silva to help us finish things out. I could run Vayne, because he could be good at surviving and helping finish the fight out. Uh, really, there's a lot of options here. Europa, Cag are always solid. Alicia would give us a lot of extra damage um, on charge attack. Uh, yeah, mm, I'll think about it a bit. Uh, here, I will cut here while I do some fiddling with plus marks, and then I'll be on the other side. Okay, so normally I run staff build, or I used to run a staff build, but I switched to crit in, in recent days. Um, I think maybe I do want to switch to my crit build because um, Sachette is not staff. She's uh, she's harp, uh, harp fist, I think. So if I want to go crit, I would switch to Naggle Ring. Just a more modern build. Get with the times. Uh, let's switch to that. Grab the swordfish spear. I see two more of these, and I'll have the I'll have the 
the set I need of those. And then this thing can become Merglace. And then we can switch Cosmic Rod out for uh, something like a, um, a Feetless. And that should be good to go. That can be our grid. Okay, let me put a proper summon in here and see what our numbers look like. Not that this is particularly indicative of anything. <laughs> Rather low, actually. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll try this setup. Let me add some plus marks over here. So I think the main tricky part is that Magma Chamber. And I am almost certain you can mirror image it. So we should be fine in that regard. Watch us not be fine in that regard. We should be fine in that regard. I believe. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave that as is. Um, there's a couple ways past it. So Magma, Cha Magma Chamber does 99,000 damage to two people. My, my strategy can be mirror imaging it. You could, in theory, cancel it through any number of ways. I mean, a lot of people will like, use Quattro. Quattro can cancel it. Well, you know who else can cancel it? Fucking Lady Vera and Caterpillar can cancel it much better than that. Because uh, she deals... Um, that's not her. She deals... Uh, let's see, 16 hits, then 17 hits, and you reset. She deals 34 hits on her own. So she'd be able to clear that no problem. But then the rest of her kit's not great for this. So I think we're just going to try and um, mirror image it. The other way is use someone to sub, like Vayne, to sub it. But I don't... I'd rather just use this setup. Now the last question is, do I want to switch like Zeta and um, Cat out for somebody more clutch? Let's see. If we're getting a home stretch, we need to bring it home. I think Zeta is fine. I do kind of want to move, switch the kitty out for something that might be more, like, tangible. Let's put it that way. Like, Silva in the back row does gain us, um... Am I crazy? You know, she it boosts the water ally's crit damage cap. So that'd be nice, plus she can do a lot of damage the last second. I think other options we have are... You know, someone that can help heal, like Europa. You know what? We're going to take the cat. We're going to take the kitty. Kitty. We got to take the kitty. <laughs> Might not be the right choice, but it's a choice I'm making. <laughs> oh, what a quote that is. All right. I think we're ready to go try and beat up Wilness. Let's just double check our skills. Do I really want to take a revive? I kind of do. I kind of do want to hedge bets. Okay, we're going to go this. I'm not terribly worried, but we'll see how it goes. So let's go load up the fight. As I sip this cheese tea. I guess for good luck, we'll just assume we'll beat the fight, so I'll go get a, um, a drop bonus. I really, really, really enjoyed cheese tea. I talked about this in the last video, but I'll talk about it again, because cheese tea is just that good. But cheese tea, if you never had it, it's not actually cheese, it's kind of cheese. It's um, a layer of um, salted cream foam uh, on top of it. And then the rest of it's just tea. Um, like, the tea you'd use for, well, just, it's tea. It's like, it's like whack tea. It's like oolong tea. Um, so it's like a milk tea, but but savory. It's like a bubble tea, but savory. You can make it sweet, but I, I get it without sugar, because I'm on keto. And also, the sugar would add a ton of calories. Uh, so I don't do that. But I was looking into bubble tea, because I used to really like bubble tea. I still do. Bubble tea is great. Nothing against bubble tea. But the issue with bubble tea is, like, if you do it with sugar and boba, man, it's a lot of calories. So this, really only calories are from the crema, uh, at the, the salted cream, the crema, and that's like 160 calories, I think, total for the whole drink, because tea, tea doesn't have calories. 
but I was looking into boba tea, and freaking boba tea... Some people are like, why is she going on and on about this? Shut up, that's why. Um, boba tea, uh... The tapioca balls? Apparently three ounces of those is like 300 calories. I'm like, what? For some tapioca balls? Because, like, if you're at Boba Tea, tapioca balls are like an addition, right? They're like the sprinkles on top. Tell me those are 300 calories. I should probably save some skill damage. Uh, check in some triggers real quick. It's fine. <laughs> we will save the delays. Increase your stupid charge diamonds. So, Shet, I'm reading skills. You're gonna have to deal with it. You wanna stack all this stuff? Got multiple delays, multiple heals. We should be good to go. Should be a good to go. As per the last batch, we'll take it nice and slow. We're not doing terrible damage. Owie. You do hit ever so slightly hard. I'll save the heal for one more round. I could see bringing Sage just to help with the sustain. Then again, I've got a lot of healing. And then we'll start delaying. And then we'll delay again. And as much as I want to charge attack now, I do. I can build charge attack up by the time I hit 90%. That's not going to be an issue. The double... Having both my mirror images gave behind a charge attack is a little awkward, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, we have a considerable amount of damage or uh, health recovery from the re refreshes. Plus, like, this da this attack and defense down will start stacking. Plus, we save some damage from every charge attack. And if I really need charge bar, I can do a resounding chant, so I'm not too worried about it in that guard. Okay, so now we've got we've got the mirror image ready to go. I should be able to deal with skill damage, no problem here. Thank. I should know how much shield damage I'll do. Oh, you're gonna hit for that much, Cheetah? You should be able to, right? Cheetah, you had one job. I don't really want to use Resounding Chant here. Is the issue. So, Heat Ray hits 40,000 damage to one ally. I could damage cut it by 70%. It would still be a decent chunk of damage. I could charge attack here, which would get Sashet in position. So I think what I'm going to do is charge attack here, because Jita will mirror image this thing. So Shet won't... Uh, so Shet won't charge attack, but she will be ready to charge attack for the Magma Chamber that's coming. So I think that's the best way to navigate this, because I, I want to save my resounding chant. I don't really need to. This might be excessively clever, but like, you know, I kind of feel like I'm being clever here. Yeah, that should dodge, because mirror image, nice. Just set's ready to go now. Now you're gonna try and magma chamber me. Yep. Yep, you're just like I wanted you to. All according to plan. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> uh, the, mm, yeah, we'll just continue debuffing you. And uh, Magma Chamber is considerable amount of damage, but we're just going to mirror image it, so we don't need to do anything else. Uh, I will consider you to do all this stuff to you. Build daily press. Why am I hesitating? I'm always a little bit nervous, you know? But it's fine. Because Sashat so should give mirror image to everybody, so this should be no big. It occurs to me, I didn't check if my mic is actually hooked up. It appears to be. It could be real awkward if it's not. <laughs> my cat unplugs it sometimes, which is why I worry. There you go, there's the mirror image. Good to know that that, that, that kills your charge bar. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll delay you. And the reason why I'm holding Resounding Chant, and I guess I don't need to hold Chaser actually, is because uh, it gives me full charge bar, so I really want to save it for if I need to do something urgently. It also does an absolute shit ton of skill damage. Also, you hit me kind of hard, you jerk. I want to take one more hit before I heal. Curse me, I don't have any garrison, unlike the last few fights I do, so I'm going to be getting hit decently hard. I guess on the part where this could go wrong is um, when I get low... Uh, when we get to... When we get to... Um, uh, lower health. Because 40% he will buff himself. So maybe I'll guard through that stuff. Got options. Do I want to charge attack here? Kind of do, yeah. We need to anyway. Charge attack gives me a little bit of time to catch up on health because we will have your image plus the refresh. And the refresh from uh, Bailout. Bailout is the blue ball attack. Greg's blue ball attack. Charge attack. Is pretty decent. Oh, I guess I could turn on charge hack animations. Hang on, I'm gonna make a, a, a quick tweak here. I kind of hate how the blue ball looks on. G yeah, we're we're doing this. We're we're actually doing this in the middle of this. I'm gonna switch to swimsuit. There we go. The skin was bothering me. Okay, this is important. There we go, back into it. That should switch in real time. There we go, there we go, much better, much better! Important. I don't know what you said. 7% I need to be able to do 12,000 damage. So I think I want to build up my charge bar by then. Um, I'm gonna have a delay. Ooh, can I debuff your fire attack? Uh, I don't think I can do that in one turn. I can't delay you though. And then, yeah, we'll save that to deal damage. All our stuff's actually coming up, so we should be fine. <laughs> Okay, Heat Ray. This is going to be one ally, and it's just big-ass damage. So I could, in theory, just mirror image this, which I think I will. Or I could stop more skill damage, actually. Can I? No, we're going to be short again if I try to stop more skill damage. Because she just not going to hit quite hard enough. So we will just uh, mirror image this. Actually, no, you already have mirror image. Yeah, so uh, we're actually fine. Like, we don't need to do anything. That lets me save the charge tax for this next one. Yeah, let's see it. So, dealing this damage shouldn't be that big a deal. I'm gonna stack the deck a little bit just to be sure. Um, by using you. Because you're going to give me bonus charge. I mean, give me charge bar, so it's a little bit of waste, but you give me increased charge attack damage as well. So this will hit harder. Oh, I should take skip off the charge attacks. I don't know, I, I like seeing the charge attacks for these. Because if you haven't seen Sushet's 5-star charge check, it looks really cool. Take that. Next trigger is 50%. That is 3,500 skill damage. So I guess we'll save all our skill stuff for that. Continue to glaciate you. And, um, yeah, we'll save that. We haven't even used Lily's damage cut yet. 
Yeah, to my uh, Twitch viewer, who has mentioned Mirror Image being really strong here, you were not joking. Mirror Image kind of trivializes a lot of the stuff. Oh, uh, fire attack plus dispel. Can I do that? Do you have anything that lowers your fire attack? Uh, uh, buh. This is hit to attack. Yeah, that doesn't help. Uh, I guess I'll just delay you. This is a double delay. Plus I could delay you again, but it, we won't for now. Kind of surprised I don't have a way of lowering your fire attack. I didn't look very hard. I might. I didn't realize my coolest charge attack is kind of cool looking, also. So, what is. How dare you actually do damage to me. Blank crevasse. Black crevasse is a one hit. So in theory, I should be able to mirror image this. Yep. Yep, this should be fine. So... Yes. I'll use your heal. Since you're a little bit hurt. Yeah, we'll mirror image this. Ba -ba -ba. We are really saving everything. Being very careful. This guy does overdraft for a very long time. Like four turns. Check out her charge hack though, isn't that awesome? Her little dance? So yeah, you're gonna miss. Nice try. And then we'll just keep beating away at you. We've got Quillen too. We've really got everything we need. And use Chaser. I don't need to save that. I mean, I want to save my skill damage stuff. I don't really need to, to be honest, because honestly, um, I could just quill in that turn. So, I honestly just just use all the things. But again, my strategy on this is to go slow and be careful, not rush and die. Okay, I want to push him into um, range, into... I want to push him below 50, because that will set up the next trigger. So... Thinking. This should be fine. I mean, I do not charge attack for that much right now. If I don't crit, so that would be a good thing to keep in mind. Our damage is... 12 mil is around the amount of damage we'll do on full charge attack. Plus whatever the chain burst is. So just keep that in mind. That we're not going to do that much damage. Okay, there we go. That's enough to put you on your omen. So this should be skill damage, which we can definitely beat. Glaciate you. Double delay you. No, so I'll just use all the stuff. So no problem there. Debuff you as well. And then we'll keep on a going.
I do love Kitty in the back row. I think that's the best part of this. I'm gonna start saving charge attacks because I want to enter 40% Faded Chain, then Full Burst to rebuild. So what you got for me now? Skill damage again. So I think what I will do is actually just fucking resounding chant this, which will that should be enough damage to stop this. Oh, it's not. Okay. Uh, I will quill in. Well, here we'll do all of this shit. Because now I want to quill in, and then I'll do something that doesn't delay you. So like, actually, uh, um, this thing. There you go. And then we'll push forward. Be sure to charge diamonds. You want to delay you. Just want to get you to 40%. Can we do it this turn? There we go. So now you're super buffed. You're gonna try- Yeah. Okay, you hit roll hard. That's good to know. In fact, I'm gonna do that. So Magma Chamber. This thing we will beat by just, um... Mirror Imaging. Actually, when do I need the Faded Chain? Is only a 10%? It's down a 40% on you? Okay, I guess I guess we're fine. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just go. You are kind of gonna hit hard, so I'm actually gonna use the damage cut as well. That's wrong. That wasn't what I wanted to do actually now in retrospect, but you know, it's fine. Why I say that's wrong is I'll have mirror image up this turn, but it's fine. It'll last several turns. Yeah. I actually want to use that the turn after, because I am mirror image this turn. Double mirror image this turn, in fact. I can actually just probably roll mirror images, because it's going to resounding chant, they'll charge bar again. I really want another cheese tea. Another milk tea. <laughs> nice try. Oh, interesting. You're only at two stacks left. Are you dispellable or something? Is that what's going on here? Okay, we still got the damage cut up. Like, we'll continue- we'll start lowering all your shit again, because you clear a debuff, that's the other thing that's annoying. So you start hitting hard again, because you're a jerk. Uh, use that. I can guard through this, I suppose, but like... Not gonna. Okay, we'll do that. There would be any surprises left. There's a Hadron Buster at 25%. And honestly, um, yeah, we're just off to the races. Hadron Buster is at 25%. I need to do 12 mil to stop that. That shouldn't be that hard. Oh, you hit real fucking hard. Also, why did you did you skill seal me? How did that happen? With faded chain. Did I miss something? I thought. Oh, do you just have faded chain as like a require? Does that just happen? Huh. Well, that's awkward. I guess I could fade a chain this. It wouldn't be a, that big a deal to build it up again, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll break this. I think I misunderstood some mechanics here, but it's fine. 
We're gonna remove that skill seal. I don't like that being on there. Yeah, and what skill seal? And I guess uh, since I used my Theta Chain, oh my god, I want to build your bar up. Here, I can do this. Because that will let me full charge hack, which will save me damage, and it will let me mirror image everybody. Yes, yeah, just planned. I didn't want to push you into 25%, because that is um, another trigger. So we'll stop slightly short of that. <laughs> Almost pushed him too far. This next turn is going to be a little awkward. Because now I got to deal with 12 mil, which may be a little tricky to do, actually. So we'll do Resounding Chant. Uh, you know, here, we'll use everything, because I don't want to risk this one. Because I like, could resounding chant again, get full charge bar, get me in position to, um, the faded chain, to stop another faded chain, so we'll just do that again. There we go. Also... Yeah. There you go, continue stacking that def down. Or attack down, rather. And then, uh... Yeah. So now I have full faded chain again. So I'm ready for 10%. I am out of um, Quillens, so it's a good thing I brought two. But I mean, it shouldn't be a big deal. It's only 20% left. Yo, know, it is ever so slightly weird that you um, still charge. You still. Um, you still attack on the she that this thing still attacks on the turn you break its omen. You'd think it would not, but it's fine. You can attack, I guess. Jerk. Man, that mirror image. Doing some work. Kaguya, when do you come off of cooldown? I want to see my skill damage. Steal. Yeah, uh, we'll delay you. <laughs> really, with a skill seal again. Also, the wanting a faded chain. Like, well, what, what gives? So, Pale Fire is damage all allies. Uh, I unfortunately don't have a mirror image. It inflicts claps and burns. So, I guess I will stop this with my faded chain. Which is not putting me in a great position because I will have to deal with the faded chain on 10%. But I think I can. Whoop, that's. I did not mean to hit full auto there. It's fine. That's fine, I guess. It will save me some damage. I totally didn't mean to hit that, but it would save us some damage. I guess that's fine. Oh my god, you skill seal Lily, you piece of shit. Um, 
Yeah, we're fine. Did you just skill seal on hit now? A uh, heat ray. And mirror image that. I don't want to, though. Because I mirror image it, I'm going to be in an awkward position because I won't have... Hmm. Can I deal this much skill damage? We're going to try. You're skill sealed, though, so, like, no, I don't think we can deal that much skill damage. Damn it, Cheetah. Why can't you just skill damage harder? Yeah, none of this is a clear, which is the awkward part. So, I could guard... Heat Ray's not guardable, so I do have to mirror image it. It's fine. I could damage cut it. I could damage cut it... It does, what, 50,000? That's more damage than I'm really willing to take, so... I'll mirror image it. Yeah, I'll mirror image it. It's fine. I'm just thinking, because the next Pale Fire is gonna hit now, because I'll be at 30%, or I'll be at 10%, so the next trigger. The thing that's slowing me about this fight, or you're wondering why I'm slightly confused, is because the other six dragons, the requirement faded chain is usually on 40% and then 10%, but this one doesn't have a 40% faded chain requirement, but does have a recurring faded chain requirement just on one of the charge attacks. So that puts me in a bad position for this particular one, because I can't faded chain it. Um, because I'm not ready. But what I can do is um just take the hit on Jita, which is fine. In fact, I can... Is this plane damage? It's not plane damage. I can do that. And then just guard on Jita. And this should actually be fine. Because everyone else has mirror image. So Jita's the only one that's going to get hit. So Jita will get collapsed. But that's not that big a deal. She'll get collapsed and burned. But she won't take much damage, if anything, this turn. She'll take very low damage this turn. Everyone else would dodge. I lied. <laughs> I completely lied. Oh shit, Palefire's all allies. <laughs> you can't... You can't mirror image Palefire. I know what I'm doing, really. So, um, that's a good thing I used Gabriel there, because that was the damage cut. So that's fine. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna shut up and kill this thing. Like, we're right at the end. Like, if he, he were to somehow wipe my entire team, which ain't gonna happen, uh, fucking Vader would just roll in here and fold them in half. We'll do that. That's not quite full burst. Lily, Lily, you're not. You don't have charge bar. It's fine. Okay, so this run ever so slightly scuffed, but wasn't particularly dangerous at any point. I know it's not dead yet, but I mean, what's he, what's he gonna do, really? What are you gonna do, Willness? What are you gonna do? Yes. Oh, you want a faded chain? No. Stop it. And there we go, got him. All according to Kate Gaku. Vanish into darkness. We got the last one. That's all of the six dragons done. Exalted Wings. Firestorm snuffed. Actually, I never looked at what the titles were for the rest of these. Oh, okay, so that was the last of the six dragons. We did all the six dragon solos. So now we've got other solo medals to look at. Here, I'll be on the side of the cut and we'll go look at some of those medals to get those trophies we still need to get. Okay, recap on the team actually before we look at trophies in case you missed the first part of the video. So this is the team. We are running Warlock on Jita. 
Warlock was fine. The main reason I ran Warlock was because uh, I wanted to use Staves, Staves, because uh, Blue Sphere. Blue Sphere is really strong charge attack, as you saw. Uh, Mirror Image everybody plus Refresh. Uh, honestly, since I'm running Shoshette, maybe I didn't even really need to run Blue Sphere as main hand because Shoshette also gives Mirror Image and charge attack. But honestly, there are a couple instances where it's able to benefit from their charge checks independently. So this is fine. And the Refresh on Blue Sphere is also quite nice for sustain. As far as the rest of the Warlock kit I ran here, uh, the reason was I would run Chaser for extra hits to hit to, to stop hits omens. Turns out there's not a lot of hits omens on uh, Vildness. So that wasn't that big a deal. It was more damage, but whatever. Revive didn't end up playing much of a role. Resounding Chant was going to be for damage as well, but honestly, it did... It did that it was more about the extra charge bar gain I got of it off it than anything else. So in retrospect, I probably could have just run Monk or something because Monk would have done more skill damage on top of it in addition to being a dispel, um, which, you know, sure. Uh, or I guess I could run Sage, but I didn't really need the extra sustain from Sage. So in retrospect, I probably would have ran Monk, but it was fine. Uh, front row is Lily, uh, Makula Marius, and uh, Five Star Sushat. All of them very, very good, as you saw for this. The back row is Water Zeta, who would have been huge burst damage, but it didn't become an issue because uh, we, we didn't lose anyone in the front row. And then Apple. Apple is my cat. Your cat might be a different name than my cat. The reason why I'm running, uh, running a cat in the back row is the cat gives boost to allies, all allies defense and slight chance to boost charge bars by 10% and a turn. Did that make a big difference? Probably not, but you know, uh, it was, like, it was fine. <laughs> Honestly, the back row doesn't super matter um, unless something's gone off the rails, which is why characters that have passive bonuses from the back row are just so good, right? Because, like, they're just bonus without having to without having to, to actually move them to the front row. So, trophies. Uh, da -da -da. What do we have left? So, here. Achieved battle record. So we have now done, we have now done, what did I do? <laughs> uh, we have now done, yeah. So Exalted Wings above the Eclipse is uh, Fidel, level 200 Fidel solo. Exalted Wings Authority Denied is level 200 Lua solo. Exalted Winds Beyond the Gale, level 200 Iwiar solo. Exalted Wings, Landslide Averted is level 200 Galleon solo. Exalted Wings, Survive the Flood is level 200 Wamda solo. And Exalted Wings, Firestorm Snuffed is the one we just did. Level 200 Villainous solo. Next ones to do. Let's see, how much? I haven't actually looked at this in a while. So it looks like yeah, we've done all these. I actually still need to kill Belial. I'll kill Belial eventually. Like, <laughs> not really a priority. Um, I don't really need any of this, the, the upgrades you get from uh, from that to Dark Opus weapons. So not really a priority at the moment, but eventually. Um, let's see. Plus, I just want to kill Belial, because I want to kill Belial. But anyway, um, Exalted Wings, Storm of Peas. This would be Team of Malice solo. Uh, Ground Swell Ebbed is Leviathan Malice solo. I need to do those. I'm not sure how bad they'll be. I haven't actually taken a look at that. Fronia solo. I didn't realize that was one of them. I can't remember what Fronius does at all. I've killed him, but I think I just called for help because I do not remember that fight literally at all. So I'm going to assume that one's not too bad, but we'll see. Pure Transcendence. Pure Transcendence is uh, Ultimate Bomb at Solo, HL. Um, that shouldn't be too bad at this stage. Honestly, I just need to have a little thinksy on it. I've, I've not. I've honestly not tried. Oh, Fealty Scorn. Luminara Malice Solo. That is going to be a pain. I'm saying that right now, but it's on the list. Yeah, hmm. LT Scorn, interesting. And then all these, Surpass Finality. Um, I These are all uh, Lucilius HL solos, which are probably the hardest solos in the game. I think I'm going to start with the Dark one, because I think I'm the most prepared for Dark. Plus, I really want the title. Surpass Finality on Wings of Dark. When I kill Lucilius HL solo on this, I'm definitely going to say, Vanish the Darkness. But uh, yes, <laughs> it's over. But no, uh, all that. I would say all those things when we um when we solo that. So yeah, those are our next list of souls. Um, I will record them, stream them, whatever, because I've had a lot of fun doing these. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.